Hey guys, this is Curious Chicks, and today we wanted to bring on a very special guest. This is Emma, and she's a flight attendant. It's really good to have you here today, Emma. Hey, good to be here. Yes, welcome. welcome. Advice for passengers. We have a lot of good questions for that. So the first one being, are there any tips and hacks you would recommend for flying more comfortably? Yes, bring a sweater. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Planes I are always, always cold. They could be hot, but generally they're always cold. Bring a pillow if you want one, a little pillow. They have inflatable ones you can bring now. They just have the ones that go around your neck. For me, I think um, being prepared for a flight, like I have a lot of preparation things that I do. And if I don't have all of these in place, then I can be a little bit uncomfortable or I just, I just won't have as good of an experience being on the plane. And do you have any advice for people who are scared to fly? Don't go alone. Go with somebody you feel comfortable with. Go with somebody who's not afraid to fly. There are classes too. I've had uh, classes on my flights where people are in a class training to overcome their fear of flying. But they'll go through classes where they practice techniques on to get over their fear and then they actually go on flights with their instructors, with the whole group. And so that's an option that you can do. If you do have a fear of flying, there are different things to do. Oh, I where you know can, that. Yeah. I say just try to sleep. As yeah. much as, if you can sleep, it's yeah. just the best way. Do you have any tips on how to overcome motion sickness? If, it's the same thing on being on a boat. Dramamine works well. Ginger ale always helps settle the stomach. Eat. A lot of people who uh, are flying and they are nervous about it and get upset sometimes, or if they're in a lot of turbulence, you get motion sickness. Um, and they haven't eaten, they can get really woozy, they can get really lightheaded. So make sure you eat before you fly, bring some snacks. Sometimes planes don't have snacks, so bring a little snack or two just to keep something in your stomach. Definitely tell the flight attendants if you aren't feeling well. They'll bring you extra, extra stuff to make it more comfortable if you are sick. And what about for people who are claustrophobic? Because, you know, planes are getting tighter and tighter these days, and so how do people who are severely claustrophobic deal with that? I think probably bringing less stuff. The more space you, you're only yeah. going to be getting so much space. So the more space you can give yourself in that actual area, don't bring, if you if you are afraid that you're going to have to shove it under the seat in front of you, check it. I think also when you're booking your flight, when you choose your seats, if you're able to afford like an upgraded seat which has extra leg room or maybe picking like the emergency exit yeah. seats or something where you, you know you're going to get a little more space than the regular economy seat, yeah. that might be an option too for someone who's claustrophobic. Yes, that is an option. Business class too, first class, you always get more, more leg room there. Speaking of upgrades, are there any tips to getting a seat upgrade? For free, ideally, but... Um, you can just tell us. <laughs> <laughs> as far as getting it from the staff that are not on the airplane, I don't know if there's much that you can do with that. Being nice never hurts. If they have extra, if they have extra seating, they could potentially upgrade people for free. Yeah, if they want to fill it. Sometimes they won't. Tell us, what are some good flight etiquette guidelines to keep in mind as a passenger? The biggest one is to be nice to your flight attendants. <laughs> but if you're going into somebody's workplace, it's always courteous to be nice to them. It it helps with service. They're gonna be they're gonna be a lot more happy to get you what you want. Maybe even get you a little extra. You never know. Um, be courteous to the people sitting next to you. Stay in your space. Uh, if you're in those window seats and you want to use the bathroom, it's only gonna make for a better conversation for it to have to get up if if you've been courteous to them all along. Um, be on time. Airlines run on a very tight time schedule. It's all very, very heavily regulated with time, so be on time. So is there any way to prevent lost luggage? Mm, I don't think there's any way for you to prevent if your luggage is lost. That's something that hopefully it doesn't happen to you, but things do happen and luggage does get lost. I think the biggest thing that you can do to help getting your luggage found is to label your luggage. So put on a tag that has your name, phone number, email, um, put it on the outside and the inside. Or if you check your bag and they give you the tag that correlates to the uh -huh. one that's on your bag, keep those. I always think too, it, you know, 
put something on your luggage that's gonna distinguish it from somebody else's because everyone has a black suitcase. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you put like a little colorful tie on there or something. So that if someone that differentiates. doesn't accidentally even go in. Yeah. And yeah. Pick up that's a good idea too, <laughs> if for your carry-on bags as well. Angry passengers. Have you noticed an increase of them due to an increase of viral videos of people like getting kicked off planes and um, being violent? I haven't noticed an increase in people getting angry. The biggest thing for me as a flight attendant to be aware of is that's going to happen on a plane. People are going to videotape things. So for me, that's something that I think about is when I'm handling a situation, you never know who's watching, you never know who's listening, so you do want to make sure you handle it in the best possible way. But why I, why do they overbook planes? I know that's so that they make sure that they fill every seat, but it kind of like it kind of is not fair for the passengers who yeah. end up without a seat just so that you, like, not you, but just so that the airlines can make sure that they make the most money they can make. I think that their idea behind it, which it sounds, it sounds like not a good idea, yeah. but the idea behind it is not everybody shows up. So if you actually do end up with more empty seats than you would think, what? but... Yeah, oh yeah, people, people would not show up. They spent all this money on a flight. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean they don't show up. It means they missed their connection now. They uh, aren't there for that plane. Okay. Um, sometimes people just had to change the plans and they aren't going, but they might still have that reservation. Um, there's a lot of reasons why people might not actually get on the aircraft. A lot of airlines, because of, because of certain incidences that have happened, they are not doing the overbooking anymore. It actually stuff has started to change since then, um, but different airlines have started changing their policies where they don't overbook. So do you have any other advice for our other fellow travelers? I would say the biggest advice for airline travel is have fun with it. Um, you're stuck on a plane with how many other people? You can make the best of it or you can make the worst of it. Everybody's traveling for a different situation. And if you go into it thinking, oh, this is going to be a positive experience, I mean, it, your main goal is to get there. So if you can get there without problems, you've already had a good flight. So thank you, Emma, for being with thank us here you. today. We really having. appreciate all of your insight. It's, it's a totally different um, experience to be on the other end of being on the service side as opposed to just being a passenger. It was really interesting to hear a lot of your <laughs> different stories. Yeah. And, um, all of your advice and we really appreciate it. Thanks for having me, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.